What's up guys, it's your boy Ramon from Auto Energy and Energy Family. Just as I promised, I had that review coming for you guys on that uh, Dodge Grand Caravan SXT, which is in the background right now. If you watched the last video, yes, I have the same fit on because I told you I was continuing. The next video was going to be the review on that car. But I made a big rookie move. I left the keys in the room. So I am currently going up to the room right now to go get the keys to that car so I can get this review started with you guys. But I'm not going to do too much talking. The next time you see this, I mean, <laughs> of course, next scene you see, I should say, will be starting the review on, the, on that Dodge. So I'm going to cut the camera off and get back to you guys in a minute. So I can make more Taking time and investing in Cross me over, that's a bad investment Playing chess with me Thought you had me, but I got you It's in the long run Congratulations, you just played yourself Cause I'm the moving major now And the hating like major now Still ain't signed to no major now Got a major problem when it come to trust Why you don't trust so? I don't fucking know Maybe cause you just don't deserve it But I'm still in the studio On the daily working Hey, hey, hey. Everything you do, it come back, boomerang. Could have bad, it come back, boomerang. Watch what you're doing, it come back, boomerang. I, I, I get it, I get it, I get it. Ay. Everything you do, it come back, boomerang. Could have bad, it come back, boomerang. Watch what you're doing, it come back, boomerang. I, I, I get it, I get it, I get it. Back with another hit, trying to get me a rave. Sitting on a bunch of hits, about to make me a tape. Cooling with baddest boo, don't give a f about they race. Making this money, bro. a marathon, not a race. What is you talking? I'm talking so fly. Cooling with women that's down to be by. Cooling with niggas down to be shooters. Two of my baddest boots working hooters. Pimp to my soul, been lost control. Too few I've seen up on shows. Too few bras that most of y'all know. Fucking these bitches famous than me. Whoa, how did you do that? I just pursued that, then I persuade that, then I proceed to lay that wood. And she tell me, good. And she tell me, she love me. I just find that funny. I just love my. Money, I just love my money. Ay. Everything you do, it come back, boomerang. Could have bad, it come back, boomerang. Watch what you're doing, it come back, boomerang. I, I, I get it, I get it, I get it. Ay. Everything you do, it come back, boomerang. Could have bad, it come back. All right, guys, so you guys got to see. Uh, outside of the vehicle and the inside of the vehicle. Now I'm gonna say tell you about things that I like about this car and things I like I dislike about this van. I keep saying car I mean van because I know you guys in the comments are gonna kill me about that. Uh, yes, I am in the third row seating right now, all the way in the back of the back in the back, and I'm actually very comfortable in the back in the back in the back. So now let's jump to seat number two. That's something that I do like. Uh, about it because vans are always like that. Well, most vans, I should say, I like that with a lot of space. Now we're in this in the middle seating, nice room, uh, a lot of room in here as well. Um, now let's jump in the front seat. All right, oh, 
all I have to do is press the button. As you guys seen as I was recording, uh, yes, the button is right there on the side. Here on the side. Oh, can you see that? Right here on the side. It's the button right there. It can open and close right there. Only way in and out from the back is going through the middle, which is kind of basic from all vans, mini vans and stuff like that. So let's go to the front and I'm gonna tell you a couple things that I like and I dislike. To close it as well, you can just press that button again and it'll automatically just close by itself. Bam, now let's go on the front seat here. Flip the camera. I'm gonna start right here. For this to be a 2020, I really dislike this screen because this screen still re reminds me of an early 2005 2000s early 2000s type of screen even though i must give it it is touch screen you can touch on the screen but just the whole technology of this i feel like it should be a bigger screen it should be more with the times you know what i'm saying and all this shouldn't all these extra buttons and like uh, I, that's a dislike um I won't, I won't even say even with the buttons with the climate controls and stuff like that because this is a minivan so I'm not expecting it to be like a Mercedes or anything like that but compared to the Chryslers the Chrysler Pacificas they are way more vans way more they're just beautiful now I must say with this with the with the the gear shifter being up here it's kind of odd kind of weird kind of stylish I, I i i'm i'm in the middle about this it's weird that it's up here like this but at the same time i actually kind of like it I, I don't know it's weird though that is still very weird that the gear shifty is right here and not here or even a push to uh even e even i said i was going to say push to start but not even like the button like that now you have the little gear thing where you could just switch it like in my chrysler 200 you could just switch it now one thing i don't like another thing i don't like i should say is this right here okay this is supposed to be a screen but this is a dummy screen so this is nothing nothing pops up there it's still old school with the with everything just in this mini screen so what is the purpose of this big dead screen and it's not even a screen they just put plastic over it now maybe because this is like the base model or sxt maybe the ones that's more uh uh the higher grade of them up is probably a little better but this is a 2020 so why isn't that coming standard like the going back to the screen why isn't those little things like that are coming standard but again this is a family vehicle so it's not really those little gadgets don't matter as much as if this was in a personal vehicle but to me those are things that still matter to me if i'm in a vehicle i still would want those little gets and gadgets in my vehicle now uh i like the fact of let me switch the camera for you now I like the I like this little setup here. It's not that bad. We could open and close doors and stuff uh, with these buttons. So you just close it back. Press the button again. You don't even have to hold the button. All you have to do is just press it. Same thing here. Press it. Door opens up. Press it again, door closes. No need to hold it. Not bad. Now, trunk, it makes this beeping noise like as if something is re in reverse. Well, kind of giving you that warning sound. Boom, opens up. Now let's press it again. And it closes back. And I also like, you got, let me get in the back seat. Also have standard, kind of standard buttons with controls with the um, controls in the back for the, the climate controls and stuff. It's kind of very standard. But everything else in the vehicle is kind of like standard vehicles. Uh, nothing new, nothing new, even exciting. Uh, everything is pretty much basic. It's, it's really basic. It's a very basic minivan, but... I, I can't lie. Even from these seats, these seats are kind of stylish. I like them. They they kind of give me 
kind of sports car feel, but this is actually a family vehicle, you know. But I like it. I like this minivan a lot. Uh, now I'll show you some cool tricks with the with so the on the keys here, if I can focus in. So on each side, it has a button for you to open the door without actually touching the door. All you gotta do is two times. Door opens up. Two times again. Door closes. And that's for either side. So I'm gonna show you guys on the other side as well. You can do it on either side of the vehicle. Door opens up. Door closes. Same thing with the trunk. Show you guys. Trunk opens up. Closes. Damn. All right. Speaking of the trunk, let's go ahead and go in the trunk as well and show you guys the type of room that's also in this trunk with having a third row seating with passengers in it. And also, if you want to close the trunk, you didn't, you had the key in your pocket, you could do the same thing with just pressing that button. But as you can see, you still have room to put a nice amount of luggage in this, this vehicle, uh, even with third row seating. So you can fit all your passengers and still have room to put a nice amount of luggage in here without even stuffing the car or feeling uncomfortable in the car. It's easy easy room let's go ahead and close this trunk back and i'm gonna give you guys my all around review of how i feel about this view so now on styling to me is i feel like it's a basic styling of a minivan they didn't do anything uh anything out the ordinary anything that just jumped out your eye made you like wow this is a oh this minivan is like amazing you know uh now on the chrysler side of uh minivans chrysler's do make minivans to me that make me like wow they're easy it makes me want to buy a minivan but with that being said everything else though from even though the things i dislike with the screens both of the screens from the screens that's right in front of your face to the screen that's on the side of you that control media and everything like that it's very basic but it's not a bad vehicle. I cannot say and sit here and say this minivan is trash. It does. It will get the job done. Uh, it, it, it It's roomy. It's spacious. And usually most people that are in the market with big families, uh, this is what they're looking for anywhere. They're looking for space. They're more about space instead of styling. They're not too caring about styling, more about space. And, and, and for sure, this car does have space. I've drove this car for like uh, on for a three hour drive from Chicago to Fort Wayne, Indiana. Uh, ride is not bad. It's not bad, but it's not the best. I've driven uh, the Chrysler Pacificas before. I keep comparing to the Chrysler Pacificas because when I think of minivans uh, and the standards of minivans right now, I feel like Chrysler Pacificas are kind of the ones, the Grand Pac the, the, those Pacificas are the ones that are up there to where like, I actually, like if I was in the market to buy a minivan, I would buy the Chrysler Pacificas. But the ride is not bad. The ride is okay. It's not the best ride in the world. Uh, I don't know if it's because this is a rental, uh, but the car doesn't have to. It had, this, this van has like 6,000 miles on it. The, 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 that transmission on here, I don't know. It, it, it doesn't. It doesn't give me that feel like when I'm in that, that in that in that Chrysler Pacifica, like that Chrysler Pacifica. I still have it has a little, I won't say get up, but it has it's smooth selling rides. Well, this is this ride is okay, um, but like I said, if you're just looking for something for your family, something that's that's not it's, like I said, look at these seats. These seats are still stylish. Like it has it has some style to it. It's not just like your basic minivan, but it's nothing nothing that stands out to the point of like wow this is this 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 minivan is amazing uh but if you're in the market for a minivan 
I wouldn't I, I wouldn't tell you not to buy this because this definitely if you're looking for space, you're looking for a little stylish, but you're not too you don't want too much too flurry because and most of the time you're gonna have little kids in here and vehicles like this or kids in general, multiple kids in general, so it's gonna get messed up. Um it's it's it's, it's a family vehicle, so styling is not always the number one concern. Hey, if you're in the market for it, I wouldn't. And you you like this and you feel like this is what's fit for you, go get it. I wouldn't deny you to go get this. This is definitely the type of van. I I, I wouldn't personally buy it. I would buy the Chrysler over this, the Chrysler Pacific over this. But if you like this better, you're a Dodge person, hey, go here. Even though it's all in the same family, Dodge Chrysler Jeep, I would go with the Chrysler before I go with this. But that's my opinion. But I'm going to end this review here, guys. I hope you liked it. If you didn't like it, man, let me know in the comments. If you did like it, let me know in the comments. Uh, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Let me know other cars that you would like me to review. Let me know how you liked it, this review. Tell me the things that you like. If you would buy this vehicle, if you wouldn't buy this vehicle, you've seen it for yourself. You tell me what you think about this. Maybe am I tripping? Maybe this is super stylish to somebody that out there that has a, a minivan you let me know in the comments and make sure you go follow instagram at auto energy 25 and i'll see you guys next time